Well, hi, everybody. How are we doing out there tonight? <laughs> oh, gee. If you're wondering where I've been, I've been almost ready to crawl under the bed to keep from turning on the TV and everything on it is Trump this and Trump that. So I think we're all so sick of him. Let's just hope the whole world and the rest of the United States is as sick of him as we are, and that should make everything go our way because it looks like he's headed downhill pretty quickly at this time. It looks like he's on his way downhill. Um, Gee whiz. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm trying to get this thing adjusted where it's not pulling on the cords. Seems like it's always six of one, half a dozen of the other, no matter what you're doing. So I hope you're doing fine, and I want to thank you for all your uh, nice messages that asking if I was okay. Except being fat, dumb, and lazy, I guess I've been pretty okay. Uh... But I just, like I say, sometimes I have to, uh, whatever. I was going to say get away from this, but I still end up watching half of the stuff. Even when I cut back on it, I watch half of the stuff. And, and like I said, we're just sick of this. It's like a, we all got PTSD from this. We all... Uh, And I think I may have said this on my last video, when, when we feel like we have no control, we get high anxiety. And before, we felt like we didn't need too much control. When it came to politics, we just voted for the best people, and if our team didn't win, or it wasn't even a team, it wasn't even considered a team thing, but if our side didn't win, hopefully they would the next time, or we might even be voting for the other side the next time. I mean, it wasn't, not me. I mean, I didn't like whatever. From the time the election got stolen from Al Gore, I was pissed, but I'd have never voted the other way. But anyway, uh, it uh, it's just amazing how... Uh, how things have gotten where we're all so used to mainlining this fear that we can't get away from it. And, if, and part of the fear would be trying to catch him screwing up where he's going downhill, and I think he's definitely going downhill. One thing was worth watching today was him getting booed at that uh, libertarian <laughs> convention. He walked in there like he thought they were all supposed to give him all the good seats and take everybody else out and put his people in front. I mean, the guy is such a maniac that uh and then i guess the secret service was taking everybody's chickens away because they said that they could throw them at him well they didn't as far as i know he wasn't invited there to start with i mean he, i don't know what you have to do to be there but i don't think it was an invitation so uh, to speak so i don't know or maybe they have theirs open to anybody that wants to come i don't know that much about the libertarians except they're all a little batshit crazy because we need a government but if anybody was going to throw in with somebody like him, it seems like it would be a bunch of them. So since they didn't, that's good to know. So just hitting on some high stuff. I mean, did you know that uh, Elise Stefanik's husband is really ahead of the, is in a gun lobby where he lobbies for AR-15s? I didn't know that. No wonder she's always taking pictures takes campaign pictures of everybody with, with even her kids or little kids with holding AR-15s. And uh, another thing, I, I, have, I was repeating this because I'm a slow learner, and I never knew what that appeal to heaven flag was. And it's uh, for removing the wall between church and state. That's what it's about. And here Alito's, to me, that was almost worse than flying the United States flag upside down after the insurrection, flying that appeal to heaven flag, because he's supposed to be protecting the barrier between state and, and church. And of course, none of them have been doing it, but he knows that that's his job, that's what he ought to be doing, but he's not. And uh, it's just a, a total mess. <laughs> Anyway, uh, 
that was one of the things I wanted to talk about. Like I said, I there's so much stuff to talk about. But the but the the most beautiful thing in the world was seeing him get booed to his face and watching how he reacted to it. He did pretty good. I, I figured he'd run out of there, but he had enough Republicans sitting in the audience and stuff. He didn't want that. He didn't want to be. If he'd have been there by himself. He'd have ran out of there. I'd be willing to bet you. And then. Uh, so, as always, just trying to find questions. And I did go back some, through some of your questions that you sent me last time, and I've got them on here. And um, even though it's been a couple of weeks, it looks like some of them are still relevant. So, uh, And I wanted to talk about, you know, I think the reason that Roberts is, I did get this hit today. I got this just totally clear to bell when I had my hands in the water, like always, I was doing dishes. But the reason Roberts is protecting Clarence Thomas in Alito is because they both been on the, all three of them's been on the court a long time, and I bet you they know as much, as much shit on Roberts as they do on as he does on them. I bet they all know what they've been up to, more than likely. They're, they're, they're not on that court because they're stupid. And they're all not getting rich just because they're on the court. Well, they are getting rich because they're on the court, but not, they're getting paid good for being on there, but they're making a hell of a lot more money than whatever. Anyway, uh, so that's what's going on there. That's why he won't, that's why he won't uh, actually control the court and keep it honest. Just because they have these old guys that's been on there for a long time, the ones that's doing the most damage, they know enough stuff on him that they won't even let him do his job. So, so unless that court is, unless they get rid of them some way or add more people to that court, then we're just limping along on, on two pieces of government. The presidency and the House and the Senate, whatever. We don't even have the, the judicial side. So I don't know. Uh, uh, I get. I think I ask this all the time, but I mean, I'm just wondering if. That's why I wish. Don't get me wrong. Vote for Biden, no matter what, no matter who. Vote blue, no matter who, and be sure and vote because. I know all the psychics are saying, including me, that there's no way Trump's going to win this election, but don't take it for granted. You go vote, get anybody else you can get to get out there and vote. The most important thing you can do is get out there and vote, and that was sent to me this morning, straight from my guides and angels, so strong that it almost knocked me out of bed, to be sure and say that, to keep reminding people, to find other people, to register them, to get them to vote, to get them out there to get them uh, going because uh, it's just, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, people get lazy. That's what I'm hearing. People get lazy. That's one way to put it. Um, and so my first question on here, and I didn't write down who asked that, but it was, I, I got several people that asked that, is will Trump debate Will Trump debate Biden? Now, if you ask me how I felt about it personally, I'd say no, that he'd be too much of a, too big of a chicken or come up with some harebrained reason why he couldn't because they were going to shut their mics off when it wasn't their turn to talk or something like that. But, uh, but first, um, I'm going to grab the pendulum here, and then I'm going to read cards on it too. But everybody that I've been reading cards for personally. I've been using the pendulum more, and they love it. So, so will, uh, will Trump actually show up to debate Biden? Will Trump show up to debate Biden? Well, I started to say that it hasn't been made up yet, but that's a yes. Well, I don't know if it's a yes or not. I don't think it's decided. It's right now he's yes and knowing it. Trump is yes and knowing it. So let's read. This is what what Trump. What I feel like his energy is. Let's let's go into the card energy and see what it says. 
first I got to find the cards. I, I had my other ones out because I was reading for earlier. Oh, and by the way, if anybody wants a personal reading, please get a hold of me at lynntarotreadings at gmail.com. lynntarotreadings at gmail.com. And put your phone number in there, and I'll get back with you and set you up with an appointment because I'm just... I've been very busy reading, thank God, for people that I've read for before. Most people I read for become regulars. But uh, but I bought me some orthotics. God, I knew I needed them. And I had some money saved up when I went down there thinking that I probably had enough to pay for them, and I only had enough to pay for a third of them. They're really expensive. And now they got a three-phase program. I've used orthotics before. They got my feet back where I could work 20, 30 years ago. And then I hadn't used them for a long time. And then all of a sudden I started having, I threw all my old ones away when I cleaned my bedroom and redone everything. And then all of a sudden I started having so much trouble, I kept thinking i got to find a place to get orthotics. I don't even know where to start. And my daughter sent me to the happy police place. She didn't send me there, but she I, that's the one I was looking for because they're the ones I'd had the orthotics from 30 years ago, the same brand. But at that time, they only sold you one pair. Now they sell you, they say it takes three. Now, whether it does or not, I don't know, but I'm going to quit beating myself up for spending so much money and just tell myself that it was a, you know, a purchase that I needed just to be able for balance and to get around. So, But anyway, if anybody needs a reading, um, uh, it's uh, lynntarotreadings at gmail.com, and uh, put your name and phone number in there, and, well, your name of whatever, just put your phone number in there, you're, and I'll get a hold of you, and, and uh, we'll set up a reading, because right now I'm just almost totally unbooked. I've only got a couple on the books right now, so it would be a great time to get in if anybody's interested. So uh, I'm going to read on... Uh, Will Trump divide, debate Biden? Because this could be avoided for anything, I, but I really feel like it would be Trump who would back out, providing there's no health problems on either side. And of course, if Trump ends up having to make a quick trip to the emergency room, he, he might use that for an excuse why he can't debate or, or something. I just feel like that there's no way, because things are going to change so much by then. He may think he's going to right now, but I think he's going to just keep going downhill between now and even then. That's next. Was it next month? Was it in June when the first one was going to be? I can't remember. But anyway, uh, I got a feeling that um, I kept saying, thinking there ain't no way when I first heard him take Biden up on that. But uh, he, he's going to, I feel like he's going to try to weasel out of it. But I don't know. We, let's read the cards and see what they say. I don't think that that it's quite made up in Trump's mind. I think that's why that pendulum was trying to go in a circle, and then it wasn't, and then it didn't know. I mean, it was too indecisive. It shouldn't be that way if, if the energy's already out there. I don't even think he knows for sure yet, but let's see what the cards say. He's starting to feel very insecure with, all, with getting booed at the... at that place as much as he did right to his face, and then to... Uh, you know, that fake deal he ran where he went to the car races and when they flew over, a band had just got through and they said, give it up for the band and they, they named the band, I don't remember what it was, and everybody started clapping and then the news people that were there that were like Fox News Media and those kind of people, they said, oh, look, everybody's clapping because Donald Trump's plane flew over the stadium. Well, to start with, that's against the law. Why is his plane flying over the... Why are they letting him do that? I mean, I used to... You know, I had the bar right outside the Navy base. They're not allowed to, to, to even fly over any planes, towns, unless they just had to to land or something. So that was, especially where there's any people, so that was a violation. But they never talked about anything like that. They just, this is what's going on with Trump. Look, this is what's on the bottom of the deck before I even cut it. I'm going to shuffle one more time. We'll look on the bottom of the deck. Is 
somebody's trying to make a deal with somebody. I've got this upside down. This seems to be all about deals. Um, yeah, there's one thing about this that Trump don't like, and of course that's because they're going to have they're going to silence their mics when it's time after they've had their five minutes or however they do it, their two minutes, whatever they're giving them to answer whatever type of question they ask. That's interesting, especially since I just mentioned health right off the top of my my tongue, and uh, and we got the death card over this decision. So this could be that Trump feels like because um, this is more this is about Trump. Biden, Biden's going to be there if Trump shows up. So this is about Trump. So this is the the influencer over the. The influencer over the uh, the signifier. The signifier is the four of cups. The influencer is the death card. So he might be afraid to go because he might be afraid it might end his career, which is he don't have a career. <laughs> might end his bid for the presidency, or it might be that there's something wrong with his health. And the next card is always my health card. It's in the foundation, but for me that's the health card. Wow. I've got the Six of Swords as the foundation. That's because he's, he's running out on a lot of things, and he's scooting by a lot of things and putting out propaganda, like going to a bodega and pretending people, you know, all kinds of bullshit. But, but I think people are seeing through his propaganda, and he's wondering if he can... He doesn't, I'm wondering if he thinks maybe he's not going to be able to pull a debate off. Because we all know that he's not the sharpest tool in the shed when it comes to, he thinks he is when it comes to bullshit. Yeah, I never knew, I, I never met quite as big a bullshitter in my whole life, and I probably never will. And I owned and operated a bar for almost 40 years. I, I knew a couple of them that came kind of close to him that used to come in that place, believe it or not, at the De Desert Club or D.C., that's what everybody called it. But, uh, but yeah, this is... Uh, we got a death card, and then we got the six of swords. That sometimes, that's a real death. I'm not, this is for YouTube for entertainment only, and I'm not saying that that's what the cards are saying, but sometimes that's just the end of something because it's over and going away, moving on down the, going away to smoother waters. The energy around this, the going away to smoother Waters is like a, it's the influence over the present. So he's still grifting. This is going, I wasn't going to read on Trump. I was just going to read on whether he's going to show up for this debate, but this is still about him. This is still just having money drop out of the air from all these two celled netwits that send him money. And that's the nicest thing I can say about them because they're. I, well, I shouldn't say anything like that because anybody that could believe his horse crap would have to be not very smart. And yet I have a, people in my family that watch Fox News and they've never watched anything but Fox News so they don't have a clue what's going on. So they're not stupid, but they should know bullshit. Their, their bullshit barometer should be going sky high. Anyway, uh, sorry about that, but but anyway, that's, People still giving him money. That's why you don't want to leave. In the reading, we got the Eight of Wands. So you think there's maybe more indictments coming for him or the people around him? This is usually indictments. I shouldn't have started right out reading on him, but I might as well go with it because that's what the cards are going to do. It's not going to be all about this debate. This is a bunch more indictments coming his way. That may be why he's not feeling good and he's going to maybe get sick. Uh, in the near future, he's going to hold in there for a while and pretend that he's the winner. And sometimes this could be Jack Smith. Maybe he's, maybe this is Jack Smith. We were talking about debating and stuff. This could be nothing to do with Trump. This could be Jack Smith going after that alien cannon in the near future. We'll see. That's what I'm thinking that this card means. I don't. 
That's somebody with authority going after something they know is right. And it's in the near future, so I, that's not Trump. Trump doesn't have authority. Thinks he does. Um, so that might be Jeff Smith. Wow. This is in his seventh house. This is in... This is what's going on inside of him and himself and going on around him. Well, we all know he's a devil. Whatever. And we know that he's not a good person. But this is, when you've got this butted up against the the six of swords going down the river sticks and, and, and going up against the death card, I don't know. I, I really follow, even though... I feel like there's nobody any more correct or right on than Sterling, and he keeps saying he's going to be fine to this election. But these cards I'm drawing right now, he won't be fine unless he changes something. He's going to have to change something to make him healthier. He's going to maybe blow a circuit or something. And the energy around that devil is strength. But it doesn't tell... A this is the people in situation close by. His people, if they don't grab hold of him and pull him back and let him go on his own, he'll probably destroy himself. But, but it could be him pushing his strength when, when he hasn't got the strength to push. And then we go over to his hopes and fears, and I asked a friend of mine today when I was talking on the phone with him, I wonder if he really thinks he might go to jail if that's ever hit him. And you know what? We, we all pretty much know that Mershon's not going to put him in jail, even if he gets guilty on all counts, that he's not going to lock him up. We knew that from the beginning, and he's also going to appeal this, so I doubt if he even gives him an ankle bracelet or any restrictions. But if he don't, then I won't have too much faith in him as a judge because there needs to be some kind of Dill crossed toward Donald Trump instead of always backing away and letting him have all the power. But anyway, this is, Donald Trump does think about going to jail. This is him thinking about going to jail. Even though it's a money card and it's a working hard for money, he knows he's never worked hard for money in his life. He's a scammer and a jammer and just a give me, give me, give me. And at the present time, he real, maybe he is trying to figure out how to do anything he can, some more deals to get any kind of money coming in, because this is his money slower than he ever thought it would be at this time in his life. Or at least he got money. He's got it stashed overseas and all over the world, probably, but he can't get to it right now, and he can't use it for nothing because they're monitoring him too close. So what he's got to work with to pay his, fines and all this kind of stuff. It just isn't that much right now, even though he's going through the, the RNC's money like crazy. You know what? Look at this. This is this is over the this is a clarifier over the four of pentacles. That's more indictments coming his way. So he's gonna be paying some bail it looks like. When you got this card in the near future and this card coming up over the the outcome and it's this is just more indictments coming in really quick and this is indictments up here we knew that so I wasn't going to read this on Trump but it was hard to win to read on anything about him whether he's going to show up for that uh what we were looking for was is he going to show up for the debate and we came up with, he's going to try to use some phony excuse why he shouldn't be at the debate because they're not doing him right or blah, blah, bliss or blah, blah, that. But, but he's not happy with the way it's set up. And he's going to, if he can't get it changed, he may not show up. But also, the card blocking that is the death card. So I don't think he's going to die, but he may have a little bout with his health or something since it's right about up to the net it up to the devil here and it's it's got the right underneath it we got the going down the river stick so he could be making a trip to the hospital or doing something i don't know not wishing anything bad on him in fact i was surprised to see these cards come up but it looks like something's something's not going too good for him here 
Then we've got manna from heaven. This is money coming in from the people he scams daily, but it's not as much, it's not enough to take care of his expenses because he's a high roller. I mean, did, um, you guys all seen the kind of money they were get, allowing that stupid lawyer, crazy man, uh, the mayor, what in the hell? God, I'm having, having a senior moment here. Um, you know who I'm talking about. And you don't have to tell me in the comments. I know who I'm talking about. Uh, the one selling the coffee, and he, Rudy Giuliani. Yeah, so we know that... Uh, I don't even how I don't even know why I was bringing up his name now, but anyway, something I was trying to explain it and use him for an explanation. But yeah, this is uh, the energy on next to that, next to him milking people out of money is uh, is uh, more indictments. And this is Jack Smith right on his ass, and this is right away. So maybe he is gonna. They said he was gonna write do. Ask Eileen Cannon from something. Maybe he's going to finally go after her. Anyway, uh, in his seventh house, man, what's going? This is what's going on inside of Donald Trump. And I'll tell you what that is. That's pure evil. That's just greed, avarice. Uh, it's not a nice thing to say, but I'm being told rotting from within. And uh, that may just be true of all of us old people, but, but this is mental morality. It's just rot of using other people. And then the environment and people in the situation close by is everybody's pushing him with all their strength and power to try to get him to do exactly what they say and go their way, and he doesn't do nothing except what he wants to do. So so I don't, he's just getting low on strength. Or he feels like everybody's strong arming or something. This isn't strength for him because it couldn't be because of the other cards around it. Um, this is his hopes and fears, and it could be that the money quits coming in regular. So I'm going to have to try to move this microphone a little, just a little bit here because it's a, uh, it's um, in my way. Um, so this is him worrying about the money coming in. This is him looking over his finances, and he's probably shorter than he's been in years. He's down to a four pinnacles. He, his money is depleted, and I think he's depleted most of the RNC's number. And then here's... I think that's Jack Smith coming in fast with those indictments. I'm going to draw one more clarifier. That's a yes card. Boom. Somebody's lowering the hammer on him. So it looks like Jack Smith's coming in and lowering the hammer. What could, that could be on that case in Mar-a-Lago because, uh, not Mar-a-Lago, and well, it is, it's a documents case, but in Florida, because that's the most important case. That's that's the security of our country. That's why I cannot believe that that was, that was another question somebody sent me. I'll read it when I get to it and we'll see. But somebody was questioning how she ended up getting that appointment. And one of the readers asked me to read on it. So that's going to be on these deals. And uh, so that didn't, it looks, if, to answer the question, will he show up for the debate? It looks like maybe he won't because he's just as quick as that debate is, which is only two or three weeks, I think. He's going to have a lot more problems, and he's going to be sick at his stomach or sick at something. Something's going to be wrong. And, uh, yeah, gonna, he's going to have to go somewhere and rest or cool down or something, or, or he might have a stroke or something. Something's going on. I'm not saying that that he's going to get sick. I'm not going to, I'm not about to say that anything, whatever, that the death card means death, but I am going to say, and this is for entertainment only, that it looks like something's coming his way that's really ill in the wind. Let's put it that way. Ill winds are blowing. 
So I'm going to put these back in here in different places so they don't all pop up together. Or if they do all pop up together, there's a reason for it. Um, only thing missing from that reading would have been the Ten of Swords. If that would have been up next to that death card, I would have, it would have... I don't. I was going to say it would have scared me, but I don't know if that would scare me or not. But it would have really made me think. So let's see. What's the next question on here? Thank you guys for sending questions. Uh, all the next one that we're going right back to Trump. Well, uh. Cannon put a gag order on Trump. I should have left these questions on him until the end of this reading. <laughs> well, Cannon put a gag order on Trump, and that's something I think somebody wrote me that. And if I see him, if I see that question again, duplicate it all. Uh, tell you their name. What do you think? Do you think Cannon's going to put a gag order order on Trump? I don't. And I think she's still so drunk on power that she didn't think she don't really have to worry about nothing. So I don't, I don't, I can't see her gagging Trump. So uh, my my grandson uh, talk about me bragging. My brand, grandson leveled my table up for me. I noticed already just from looking at the camera, it's not jerking all over even when I shuffle. And I never even thought about it. Did you see my chair? I finally got a decent chair to sit in. All these years, I've never had a comfortable chair to sit in. And I got a comfortable chair to sit in. It's even, I should move back further in it because I'm going to be here for a while. And it's even uh, uh well, it's pink. <laughs> I love pink. I didn't know what color to get. Since I live in this house all by myself and I'm the only one I have to please, I love beautiful pastels and colors and stuff. And so it was between that and black or dark gray or light gray. Maybe a, the light gray might have been better. I don't know. But it's not really. I'm very happy with it. So I got me a pink chair. <laughs> and so far, it's only been, I've only had it together for three days. My grandson also put it together for me. Bless his heart. And uh, off, off of me, and what's what's going on with me? <laughs> Sorry about you're always you're always asking questions, or I wouldn't say that. I, when I first started, I I tried not to talk that much about myself. So, well, can put a, a gag order on Trump. You know, that's a we don't have to pull a bunch of cards to see that. Let's just lift up. Let's just lift the the pinnacle and the pinnacle the. The pendulum out of here. And let's ask the pendulum. That's the best way to answer that question. Will Cannon put a gag order on Trump? Well, that looks like a hard no to me. That's a no, people. So, uh, looks like no. So I'll say that's a no. Will, um, will Marshawn jail Trump are isolating. I think that's no, but let's draw some cards. Let's draw some cards and see if Jill's in there. That didn't seem to show up in those other cards I was reading about the debate, so let's see. Will Marshawn judge or isolate Trump? There ain't no way he's going to isolate him before the election or put him in jail. He didn't even put him in jail when he was spreading his crap every day trying to get everybody killed, so I don't know. I'm going forward right now on this. Shall Judge Marchand, will he, uh, will he jail Trump or isolating? And then if it says no, we might ask if he's going to put an ankle bracelet on him with a pendulum, and that's the best way probably to answer that. So, okay, Judge Marchand. Shuffle those all so good and then didn't push them in far enough. <laughs> I was so proud of that shuffle. 
these cards are just now getting worn out enough where I can shuffle them. Cause when I was young, I could shuffle anything, but I don't have the strength in my hands I used to have. Will Judge Marshawn jail or isolate Trump? Well, this is on the bottom, so it looks like he's not sure what he'd do. I think he's still trying to contemplate this, maybe in his mind. He knows he needs to do something. I feel like that's why that, that uh, hermit's on the bottom. Feels like he's between a rock and a hard spot. We got the Queen of Wands here. So I guess what we should have asked first is he's, he's going to get convicted, but uh, I'm, I'd am i be willing to bet she's going to get convicted. I wonder if this is the, if they get a woman to uh, be the one that leads the jury, you know, the one directing, I don't know what the name is, but the person that they choose to do all the paperwork or whatever it is they do, I don't know what it's called might be a woman and it looks like if it is it might be a lawyer or a very smart woman a very educated woman um, this is a funny card to have over that we're asking about judge Marchand. i think on some level maybe judge Marchand is worried about him fleeing not from this, this trial, but if, if too much stuff comes against him. I'm wondering if he's thinking if he don't do something, that that this is just, he's got to do something. This three of wands is just like, something, something's got to be done if they come up with a guilty plea. And we've got, this is fines or telling somebody they're on probation. Because um, you know the first thing he's going to do is appeal, even if he's found guilty. But I'm going to grab the pendulum and see if he's going to be found guilty. Is Donald Trump going to be found guilty next? I'm not, you're not even going to put a, a limit on it. Is is John, Donald Trump going to be found guilty in this um, trial that he's in right now that's getting ready to go to the jury? Is he going to be found guilty? Wow, that's a big yes. That's a quick yes. There was no hesitation there. So that the pendulum's saying that he's going to be found guilty. Um... We'll see what the cards say, too. That might come up something more positive. But this is like um, handing out small things to him. So he might get, Judge Marchand may give him, I can't imagine him putting an ankle bracelet on him, but he might kind of restrict some of the places he can fly, tell him he can't fly overseas or take his, uh, actually take his real passport away from him or something like that. I don't know. I feel like he's going to do something, but this doesn't look like any kind of confinement or anything. That's in the foundation. That's the answer. Uh, I don't know what this is a small fine or maybe small compared to his other fines. You can ask what he was going to do. That's some kind of monetary deal. I don't know if that comes with a guilty criminal conviction or not. I guess the judge can put anything he wants on there if it's guilty. Well, we got a three of pentacles here. So this has been discussed and they do have a jail they could put him in until they decide what they're really going to do with him for a while or something. So I don't think that's going to be coming up anytime soon. But this is, there has made plans, there has been plans made and it's been discussed and talked about doesn't mean they're going to do it. In the near future, guilty. So 
So that answered the for the pendulum too. This is going to go quick, and, and he's going to get the guilty plea. I'd be willing to bet you that's guilty. Got the hero fan. We got the law winning. <laughs> the seventh house, we got guilty. We got the, is that, is that the queen of swords or the king of swords? It's the queen of swords. That's the guilty. That's lawyers guilty. Now, this is the energy around it. So some people are going to be unhappy, and I'm sure a lot of people will be happy. The Empress, would you look at this? This is beautiful. This is in his hopes and fears, and I think this is already halfway there. I think this is what he's realizing the last couple of days and tonight and going into this trial, that he's no longer got the control that he always thought, thought he had, that, that he's not just wishing something into fruition like he always thought he could do, no matter how, even though it wasn't even the truth and he was lying. But we've got, this is the empress, this is the universe saying, it's like karmic, like time's up, time's up for you. You've been birthing, birthing the wrong ideals, and now here comes the universe to birth you. And what he's guilty of? Theft. This is the outcome, theft. So they find him guilty, maybe on all counts. This is him trying to bullshit his way out of it after he's found guilty. Though so you know the first thing they'll do is stick a blessed mic and microphone in front of him. They ain't going to let us have any freaking peace, it doesn't look like, even after he's found guilty. I, we did ask if, if uh, Judge Marchand will jail Trump, so we've also got the strength card over this. So maybe he will, maybe he'll... I don't think he's going to jail him, but, but he's definitely going to be found guilty. He could, because look at this. Let's go back through this. This is some woman. I think she's the jury. I, You don't have to write me the name. I'll hear it on my stretch in the morning. But the one that they end up electing to, to help keep the paperwork straightened out. This is Marshawn knowing that he, if he's found guilty, by especially on all these counts, that he's going to have to do more than just give him a little fine or something. And so if there's such a thing as being able to still, I think you can. I think some murder trials, they even want people to pay back or something. So anyway, it looks like a small fine or something. But this is preparations. Uh, there's been a place made. They've already worked out where they might put him. But I thought that was just for him, for a couple of days for him uh you know, breaking his gag order and all the other crap he's been doing. So I don't know. But anyway, uh, they they have a place to put him if they need to. And this is the justice is on top of this. Um, pretty sure this is him losing. Look at that. They're coming down hard on him. And look at this. So that's how he's going to feel when it happens. And this is kind of like karmic. His time is up. When I seen this card, I heard out loud, time's up, time's up, time's up. You can't get away with taking everything that you that even don't even belong to you out the door every time you walk in a door and walk out it. This is him bullshit and taking the high ground, but this is a strength of truth coming through. And yes, I drew one more card to see what that's saying that these cards are right. I'm not sure what they're saying, but maybe you can remember what they're saying. Half the time when I'm reading cards, I don't even pay that much attention. Truth's coming through. Strength of truth is coming through. That comes right after his bullshit. So that isn't, he's not going to be able to bullshit his way out of this. Uh, this is him, Stephen, what he does best. This is karmic. Come in, karma coming and saying, you know, time's up. It's time you uh, paid the piper. 
This is how he's going to feel after the verdict comes in. This is them coming down on him. Guilty. This is law coming down. Guilty. This is they do if they wanted to. Their Marshawn knows he could put him away even if it was, you know, if he has to do, if, if he feels like he can't lock him up totally and stuff because of this uh, supposedly him running for re-election, he could put him in jail three days a week or something like that. I mean, he could do something to penalize him in some way, it seems like to me, if he wanted to. If he's not afraid to, so far he's been afraid to do anything. Um, but he's ran his court good. I'm not picking on the judge. Don't everybody write me and tell me what a good judge he is. I know he's a good judge, but but he hasn't treated Donald Trump like he would you or me or anybody else that was in there. Um, this is him having to pay a small fine. This is some kind of, this is like penance. Sometimes this could be a fine or paying regular money, but no, this is a penance. So he, he's going to give him some small penance of something, maybe a leg bracelet and reporting, having to report somewhere every week, if, even if he has to fly there or something like something. He's going to do something that's going to surprise people. But I still don't know for sure that he knows what he's going to do at this time. So, uh, so it looks like there will be something. But it's not going to be anything heavy. That wasn't any heavy stuff. That's just like a heavier slap on the wrist than he usually gets. And, and, a, and a guilty. It looks like it's going to definitely be guilty. Which is good. That's the first time I've read cards on whether he's innocent or guilty of this. or getting, getting Well, we know he's guilty of it. But whether he's uh, going to get, you know, uh, whether he's going to win or lose the trial. I think he's definitely lost it already from those cards. It looks like he's lost. I'm putting these cards all back in here before I read the next question. I think I got some names on the next questions. I don't know why I didn't have them on these. So I hope you're all doing fine out there tonight. And I'm really enjoying this after being, when I go as long as I went in between readings, I almost get terrified. I don't know why. I can just not put them up if they're horrible or when I edit them if they don't make any sense. But it's just, uh, I just can't, I couldn't think of questions. So that's something else. I'm going to beg you guys to put questions. Put a question mark at our couple of them. And then if you want me to answer a question, please put it in there. It makes it coming back easier. It really does. I know I told you this time and then I didn't come back like I said I would, but but I got my chair now and I got, you know, whatever, a few other things taken care of. I got my whole house all, whatever, all my drawers cleaned out. I, I've been really busy around here getting things back to where I like them because I never really had quite gotten right since I went in the hospital a couple of years ago. So we got that done and then we got... Um, yeah, this was, this is different. Let's get away from this. This is from Wildflower, and it says, Will public education recover? Question mark. From the drain and public funds for voucher schools and religious schools. God, I wish they would recover. I wish they would change all that. I don't know. Some of the things I've heard Pete Buttigieg and stuff talk about makes my makes me and I like I said I'm a Democrat but they don't need any more they need public schools that have that are funded and teaching what they should teach not what some stupid ass senator or governor tells them to teach just like women they need to be able to take care of their own bodies the school system and the educational system needs to take care of their own schools and get all these assholes out of there that's trying to change all the rules and trying to put church and state in the same corner. There should be no religion in the school. There should be no money for any religious schools. It's ridiculous. And I can't believe that they're letting them get away with this. And like I said, when they, that's when the government starts breaking down, when they start bending, you know, when they first started... Uh, They should have charged churches income tax from the beginning. Now, to start with, it helped some of the small churches 100 years ago or whatever, but but now with these mega churches and all this kind of stuff, what a ripoff. That's as bad as Trump. They all need their... It, all those laws need to be changed. 
then the people could have enough money to have decent schools, decent roads, decent bridges, infrastructure. The money would be there. It would be there for Medicare. It would be there for child care. It would be there for men to stay home and women after having a baby to bond with. It. All kinds of things would be there if the millionaires played their fair share and if they changed some of these. The reason we're in so much debt isn't because we're spending more and more. You have to spend more and more as money goes up and times go up. But you can't break down the old rules that kept the money where it was supposed to be and filter it out into everybody's pocket, all these private people, and then and then expect to have kids educated. So will the schools go back to a... That's kind of a, a pendulum question, actually. It says, will they recover? Well, are they going to recover, yes or no? God, I'd love to see a yes on that. Let's do it with the pendulum. I think I like that even better than the cards because it answers the question. So let's ask this right out loud while I got it up here. Will the school, public schools, will public education recover from the drain on it, from massive... public funds and stuff going to religious schools and to vouchers. You know, that is going in a circle. I can raise it and still keep it. Yeah, it's going, but it, it's going to take it a while because it was, it, well, it's going to start out slow and then get faster when they start really deciding to correct this. If they get somebody in there running the school system, whoever they put the right person in, that what it, like Biden administration, I don't know who's running the school system right now, but they need to put some people in there, especially if we get a, a Democratic House and a Democratic Senate, because it looks like that's what we're going to do. They need to change that. It looks like if they want to change it, they will be able to. So that's a yes. If, if they want to change it, they'll be able to. And that was from Wildflower and then from Will the elder, elderly get dental coverage? Oh, Bernie Sanders is trying to is trying to uh, to uh, get a bill through for the elderly to have dental care. So I think that's a yes or no question. Let's try answering that with a with a pendulum because that's well. Will the elderly get dental from Senator Sanders Medicare? They're trying to get Medicare to cover the dental. I was going to write another thing there and didn't write down the question. <laughs> anyway, yeah, let's see. It said yes. No, it didn't say yes. But no, that would have been yes. I would have definitely noticed that. I, there's nothing I'd rather have than some dental insurance right now. One of the few things I could really use. Okay, are we? is Bernie Sanders' bill's gonna, bill going to go through? It looks like it's not going to go through now. Hopefully it'll go through... Uh, sometime, but not now. This is a no. Sorry about that. I figured it was a no. I'd have been shocked. I'd have thought it was going to go through it. But you got to keep bringing up these ideals and, and pushing it or nothing like that ever gets to go through. So uh, the next one is uh, I thought this was an interesting quest question. This is from Tools for Life. <laughs> what a cute, that's such a cute handle. And it says, uh, Melania and, Iv and Ivanka, will they flip on Trump to save their money and their lives? <laughs> like poor Donald, his thinking has not been, it's not been, not been good for years. He refuses to go to the doctor. That was, she's got a good sense of humor too. But, uh, when it comes to losing their money or flip on Trump 
to save them money and their lives. <laughs> save their lives. Probably keep them out of jail. I don't think Melania was ever going to go near a jail, and I, I don't think Ivanka will either. I think she's, that's why she's staying back as far as she is. And I also think that's why Melania don't want her son involved in anything with the Republican Party because she's worried about his ass being in jail. They're not going to put that kid in jail, but you know what I mean. If they won't put his asinine father in jail, they sure as frick wouldn't put him in jail. But anyway, uh, I just think she don't want him. I think she's going to try to keep him away from Donald till Donald's no more. I don't think he'll last till the kid gets to college. And the kid isn't the kid. His name is uh, Baron. So uh, I don't, it's not polite to call him that like that when it's not his fault where he was born or what he was born into. I'm sure he's probably pretty happy with it. It's been a pretty cushy life so far. So this is Mitch Debbie. That's Michelle, I think is her name, because I've read for her before. And it's, she says, Cannon was not randomly picked. Backroom antics, especially such an important case for national security. And then underneath that it says, where is Garland? Is he compromised? So that's a double question. So I'm going to put a line through this so I realize that there's another one on there. So... Um, Where's so? She was supposed to have been randomly picked, and and this lady from other stuff in her message too. I think she got a hit that she was not randomly selected. Of course, we all kind of thought that she was not randomly selected. Looky there. We got justice in there. That's kind of a yes, but that's on the bottom of the deck. Let's do it again. I'm going to shuffle them one more time. Well, this is on the bottom of the deck. If she was, ran if she was or if she wasn't, it looks like she might be going. Um... Well, we got the pinnacles here. It looks like it might have been a toss-up between her and somebody else. Now, whether she won the toss-up legally or not, we don't know, do we? But we starts out with a toss-up. Two of coins. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Somebody paid a lot of money, looks like, to get her that... The judgeship she already had, but to get her onto this case, I'd be willing to bet you that's what that is. Somebody from the family, somebody from the Heritage Foundation. Yeah, it looks like there was some shenanigans going on behind the scenes. And she thought it was all great, but now she feels kind of encumbered by it because she knows that she don't want to lose her judgeship and she knows that she's not doing this right. But she didn't want to do it right. She was in there to, to be a team player. But she knows how bad this is making her look. And she can't change her mind. She, I think, I think, look at this. I think she got paid off for it. Big time. Uh, the past influence on the present is she's held her ground really strict. She's held she's held that ground when she should have been shouldn't have been because it's been just borderline almost illegal what she's been doing. This is interesting. This is on top of the reading. In the sky, it looks like if she's not careful, she might end up getting locked up. I wish I'd have found this in the in the Cards I drew for Trump, because there wasn't any really lockup cards in there, but it looked like they did have plans to do something. Um,
I think she's leaving. I've read on this before. Excuse me, folks. Brianna, but I think she's leaving quicker than we realized. We asked of Jack Smith. It looked like he was going to do something right away. And one of those cards I pulled, I, I can't keep track of them. But it looks like he does something maybe and she decides it's time to leave or somebody else decides it's time for her to leave. And this is, she knows that she's got two decisions to make. I don't know what this is, but this is two decisions. She doesn't want to lose her judgeship. I don't, this is like a, this is another thing too. It's like she's taken orders from somebody else, maybe some of these judges from this Heritage Society or whatever it is, a Heritage Center or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I think she's taking her orders from somewhere else instead of doing what she knows is best. Look at this. What she knows is best. She's got the, the deal planted firmly in the ground behind her, but she's out there taking orders from somebody else. And even though she got paid a lot of money to do this, she's wondering if it was worth it. She's thinking that wasn't enough money worth losing my judgeship for. Her hopes and fears are she's gonna somebody's gonna find out the connection, find out she's in bed with them, and that she's taking money from them. She's uh, that's her biggest fear is that she's she's afraid somebody's gonna think to realize that. But karma's gonna catch up with her. This is karmic. So something's coming back to bite her in the ass. Let me draw. Let me cut these cards. I'm not going to draw one off the top. I'm going to cut them. Looks like the Democratic Party's going to bite her in the ass. And I know they can't legally. Biden can't do anything. But the Justice Department can come in and do something. They've been acting like they were blind. But it looks like the light's going to get shined on this. So this is going to... This is about Aileen Cannon, and this was if she was picked in a back room. Now it looks like it was a choice between two people. They paid her dearly for this. Now she feels entrapped herself. And she's, oh, so far she's did about everything that she's, they, she's been told to do. She stayed strong. But she's kind of worried about getting in a bad spot where she might even end up, I don't know, she doesn't probably think in her biggest nightmare she'd ever be in jail. But, but she's worried about being incarcerated or something, or maybe Trump being incarcerated. This is her leaving. And this is right away. This is in the near future. So that would be great to see. And this is her taking orders from somebody else when she knows what she's supposed to do. It's standing right behind her. She's wondering if that money was worth it if she ends up getting a bad reputation as a judge for the rest of her life. And this was friends of hers or whatever. This is like the Heritage Foundation paying them off. This is a karmic. Her numbers are up. It's karmic. And it's good for them the average people. This holdup has been ridiculous and the light's going to get shined on it. So, it looks like she wasn't picked randomly and it looks like if she doesn't want that coming out, it's about to almost time for her to go. And so, the second question is, where is Garland and was he compromised? So let's ask, <laughs> let's ask uh, that with a pendulum. That's a good thing to ask with a pendulum. Where's Garland or was Garland compromised? Was Garland compromised? Is that why he's let her get away with all this stuff? It's, So no. So no. 
So no, he wasn't compromised. He just a closeted Republican. That's what I'm hearing. But I knew that when they were going to put him on the court, when, when Obama was going to put him on the court. I always said, why would he do that? Because he was a Republican. But anyway, he's not pulling strings for them, but he's not doing anything to help the law either. I, I don't, whatever. Whatever. I don't want to put him down. I'm, I don't have his job. I don't have a clue what he's doing, but I've felt it. He definitely wasn't a team player. He was just hoping he could skate through this. So, people, what do you think? I think it's been an hour and seven minutes. That's probably long enough. In fact, I wouldn't even edit this except for that one goof up. I said, and I need to get that out of there because it may keep me from being able to monetize it, and I need, I need to monetize this. I'm going to maybe wait about 24 hours and then I'm going to monetize it. I like to get it out there where people can see it a little bit first and since it's right after the holiday then nobody's going to be wanting to watch any more of this stuff I'm sure but but anyway I want to thank anybody that's still watching remember if you want a reading get a hold of me at lynntarotreadings at gmail.com and uh, put your phone number in there and we'll get you on because I've been really busy doing readings ever since my last video for two weeks but but like I said about maybe 65 or 70 percent of them are people I read for before but but they always keep coming back it's just that since I told them I really needed some readings they came back quicker anyway thank you all for uh listening and putting up with my bs <laughs> I love you all and and please stay self healthy and safe and and get out and touch the earth and touch the ground and and uh Look everybody in the eye and let them know that you appreciate them and that you realize they're there beside you walking by or waiting on you or whatever. Um, sometimes I get in, because I'm kind of an airheaded old lady anyway, I'll talk to people and think, I don't even think I looked them in the eye and acknowledged them and blessed them. And so anyway, I've been reminding myself to do it, so I thought I'd remind y'all to do it in case that's something you like doing. And I love you all and... Uh, Thank you so much. Namaste.